Being a UTV owner, you may want to take your UTV with you on a vacation or transport it to your new location. You must know about loading a UTV in a toy hauler and tying it down so that you do not have to buy or rent a new one in your new location. Do you want to know about the toy hauler tie down system for your UTV? Today we will talk about it. Loading a UTV in a toy hauler and tying it down is easy. Firstly, you should drive the UTV up the ramp in your toy hauler and strap it to the hauler. Ensure to strap it close to the wheels so that your UTV stays in place. In this video, we will talk about tips and tricks for maintaining a toy hauler UTV tie down system, how to use them properly. Customize them and the pros and cons of these systems. So, are you ready to become a toy hauler tie down system expert? Before getting into our video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. It means a lot to us. And if you are interested in reading such insightful content about UTV, visit our website www.offroadingutv.com. Link is given in the description. Let's back to the video. A toy hauler can hold many things, UTVs, ATVs, bikes, and what not. But maintaining and keeping them properly is the tricky part. People even use toy haulers to secure jet skis and boats, but what they do not know is how to maintain a toy hauler tie down system. Even the best toy hauler UTV tie down system will need proper maintenance. It does not matter what you haul in the system. Ensure safety first. Not only UTVs can move inside the hauler and cause damage. You may also find it difficult to drive it down the road when your UTV bounces inside. Not a good experience. We recommend using a ratcheting nylon strap for complete safety. You can find this strap in all sizes, but the ratchet can tighten the strap, which is something you need the most. Firstly, place your UTV where you want to stay. Keep it away from walls and other things to avoid damage. Then, tighten the ratchet till it is tight, completely. After you are done with the process, try to move the UTV and see if it is secure. You can even install an additional D-ring but ensure to take proper measurements. For this, take the help of an expert to avoid any mistakes. Regularly check your straps to see if they are okay or need to replace them. Straps can become loose over time, causing difficulty and movement of the UTV. Take proper care of the straps. Consult an expert in case you face any difficulty. Tie down toy hauler involves two important steps that you should not ignore. These steps will ensure that your journey is smooth and safe. Take your time to avoid any injury or accident. Before tying down the toy hauler, ensure that the toy hauler stands on an unelevated ground. Put the brakes so that the hauler does not move while loading your UTV. Now drive your UTV up the toy hauler ramp. Do not be fast or it may cause an accident. Also, try to place your UTV in the middle so that you can take it out easily. Now that you have placed your UTV, you can tie it down properly. As you know how essential it is to inspect Honda Pioneer 700 battery problems if you need full information about it then check out this post on Honda Pioneer 700 battery problems. Once you have properly placed your UTV, tie down UTV properly. Take a tie down UTV strap and start fastening it from underneath UTV. Near the wheels. It will prevent movement and the frame will remain still. Once you secure it with straps from all sides, you are ready to drive your UTV safely. Toy haulers are available in different sizes. You can find a toy hauler between 7 and 18, but they are 10 to 14 on average. Toy haulers also have different types of floats. Some have a big living area with a small functional garage while others have both big living areas and functional garages to fit a UTV. For complete detail about this topic go and check our website link given in the description.
Thank you that is for the video. Please subscribe to our channel and like the video.